My name's Kane Scrimger from Wild Intrigue, an ecotourism social enterprise based in North East England. We bring this video to Wildlife Exposed to talk about camera traps. So hopefully you'll be able to capture some clips like these. Camera trapping revolutionised the way we observe and study wildlife. It started about 100 years ago for a man named George Shiraz in America. But here at Wild and Tree, we generally use it to record presence or absence of species and to observe behaviours that we could spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours as a naturalist trying to see. So we've been walking through this woodland and we've found this trail. Now this isn't a human path, this is actually an animal path. So you can't quite see any of the prints because of the heavy rain, but this is most likely a badger track. So we're gonna find a place to put the camera trap on one of these trees, possibly back there, to see if we can cover this track. <laughs> So we've chosen this tree which is directly opposite the track. Now I think this is a badger track, so the camera height is perfect for that level of movement. Now camera traps work by using a PIR sensor, and that sensor detects the infrared radiation of a scene, so the grass, the track, the trees and the surrounding area. What happens when an animal walks through is it causes a differential, which then sends a trigger to the camera and the lights which illuminate the scene and it captures either still images or video files, depending on what you want. Now these cameras will operate day and night, um, and they'll also operate for up to a year. Um, so it, it takes your field time out of the equation and you can capture some absolutely unbelievable behaviors. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna set it up, make sure all the settings and dates and times are correct, and then see what we'll capture. So that's the camera trap all set up now and what we'll do is leave for a couple of weeks and fingers crossed we've got some badges on there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.